hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is a get ready with me to chat like trying out new products i don't know if you guys have noticed but there's a lot of new makeup at target cbs walgreens everywhere like everywhere but i only went to target like i only bought it from target because i get a discount there you know i work there so yeah so i only got a few items mostly from elf because it's super affordable and i feel like their packaging is amazing and they came out with a lot of new stuff that i was like it just caught my attention you know um i did try some of maybelline um but other than that it was mostly elf and yeah i hope you guys like this type of video and if you do make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and give me your feedback in the comments if you guys like this video so if you guys don't you know let me know what's going on so let's go ahead and get started so i obviously a lot of you guys know i work at target so there was a lot of new makeup um and i was like i want to try it out for the most part everything is elf and i think because a lot a lot of elf product came out there's quite a few of maybelline but i wasn't like oh my god i need to try it out just because i've tried their eyeshadows before and i didn't like them so um yeah like most of the stuff that I got is Elf. There's a little bit of a little bit of Maybelline, and yeah, that's about it. But let's get started. So I saw this ones from Elf. They're like eye eye mask or like um, hydro gel under eye mask with purified water, seaweed extract, and liquor or something. My under eyes were bad, so I was like, let me try it out. It's supposed to make them look smoother, healthier, blah 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 blah. blah. So let's see. They kind of reminded me of the Borberta Bor Bor ones. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know that brand, but that brand is kind of like a skin, not skincare, eyelash brand. But they have like stuff like this. Um, and these are pretty juicy. Oh my, what a. So they come like this. There's like a white shield and like a clear shield. And just really let that sink in there for a few minutes um let me grab a bigger mirror because i don't have a mirror up front with me um okay so that is done and doesn't say for how long to leave it about 10 to 15 minutes so we're gonna let that do its thing while we start getting ready um okay so then Another like skincare product that I like got was this one by Elf. This is the Calm Balm plus hemp derived Canavius Sativa Conditioning Lip Balm. So this is like they have a whole new line kind of based on this, but this is the only one that I got because I have a lot of skincare that I still haven't gone through and I need to go through. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and test this one out. I hope it's very hydrating because lately my um my lips have been dry so i like the packaging already like very slick white you know nothing too crazy um it just says that it's gonna nourish and moisturize the lips um and it says to apply often as desired so it just looks like this it doesn't have any crazy scent either uh, it just feels like a lip balm to be honest i mean that's what it is right i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the eyebrow since i have this going on i grabbed this one by elf this is the ultra precise brow pencil i don't think this is new but um, i wanted to try it out see what the buzz is about just because my brow hairs have been growing so i want to test out a brow pencil you know okay so i did my brow one of the brows off camera because it wasn't take too long um, I already took the hydro thingies off and I was charging my camera for a bit. It does feel a little fresh under here. Um, I don't know. I guess I have to keep trying them to like really let you guys know what I think about it. But they did feel really good. Like cooling and I like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill the other brow um, with the little brow pencil by e.l.f. I think I got the wrong shade but at the same time like I've been wanting to like try like a, a lighter brow product i feel like i've been growing a lot of brow hair 
so I don't really have to go too crazy in filling them. I'm just kind of giving them the shape that I want. Up here I just go up and very lightly. I hardly even touch the front part to be honest. And then little strokes throughout the brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up with a little bit of concealer. All right, there you go. So, I mean, I like the formula. I like how easy it was to like fill my brows. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I just think I went a little bit lighter. Go ahead and jump into primer. So this is not a new primer, but it was out of stock for like the longest time. It was so hard to get your hands on. And yes, it's by e.l.f. It's the potty primer. They came out with newer ones. One's like a hydrating one, like a glowy one. And then the other one is more like a mattifying one. And then we have the poreless one, which I went with the poreless ones because... And a lot of people compare it to the Natasha, the, not Natasha, the Tasha primer. I don't know because that one's too expensive for me to even bother buying. And for foundation, I'm going to use the Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation by Maybelline. It has hyaluronic acid, collagen, and I got the color Sandy Beige. So hopefully it matches me. As it says it gives up to 12 hours of contain, contig, continuous hydration and visibly proves the look of skin. Medium coverage with radiant finish. Doesn't clog pores. Dermatologist, hit, dermatologist tested. Um, so a lot of good stuff in this little bottle. Um, hyaluronic acid is actually really, really good for your skin. So I'm excited about that. I'm um, just going to grab about two pumps and let's see how it works into my skin i've been more into like hydrating foundations and i know this is silly because i'm like kind of oily um but i feel like in the past few months like my skin's been more like a combo skin now and i like more the glowy skin just because it doesn't make me look too mad or cakey so let's try this out It feels like it's going to be a good match. The coverage is pretty good. I feel like it's medium for sure, but it still covers quite a lot. And I only did two pumps for my whole entire face. Okay, so I only did three, two pumps, and I feel like my skin looks really good. It looks very natural finish. It doesn't look cakey. Um, I... I probably won't even, I mean, yeah, you probably do need to set it because it's a little bit taggy still. Um, but it looks really good, and I only did two pumps for my whole face. Um, but I'll let you guys know what I think about it, maybe in like another video or anything like that. I'm thinking of doing like monthly favorites. Maybe not monthly, but like every other month, you know, just to try them out. For concealer, I've been using this one because I ran out, and I was trying to film this video, but I had so much going on that I just didn't have the time to film so it's the elf one this one's elf hydrating camel concealer as you guys know they have the matte one which is the one with the black cap and i absolutely love it but i might have tried this one out because i um yeah like i ran out of concealer and like let me tell you guys by the looks of it like i really like it it's very hydrating obviously but it's still like full coverage and i only use a little bit right there on my bridge of my nose my forehead and a little bit on my chin and like i said i've really been liking it it doesn't look cakey i feel like the camel one was a little bit too matte for my liking so i've been really enjoying this one it makes the under eye look really good um and like my fine lines don't look as bad and i'm guessing because it's hydrating and not matte so it doesn't like settle into my fine lines and I'm just taking my sponge and just laying it out. It's very easy to blend out as well. So for setting powder, I'm going to grab the e.l.f. one. Um, this one is their Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is new because I've never seen it. Um, it just basically says that it makes, it look, makes your skin look like you're wearing a filter. Um, and who doesn't want that? It just sets makeup and creates a soft 
focus blur finish so i'm excited about that i like the packaging um it's very slick i, I just really like elf's packaging um and then it has like a little two of them to like move it around baking underneath the eyes my smile lines that's where like i usually crease and my nose i mean it does make everything look smooth but yeah i mean i like how everything's looking so far it looks very smooth kind of impressed right now i'm just hoping it doesn't have flashbacks so for bronzer i'm gonna go ahead and use elf as well this is the prime infused bronzer it says forever sun kissed so we're going to go ahead and get this one and just kind of bronze up our skin. I love the packaging as well. Very slick, very minimal, nothing too crazy. And I'm just, whoa, 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 whoa. I think I fucked up. And in that moment, she realized she fucked up. It's very pigmented. Didn't expect that pigment. And it looks very like, um like sun-kissed i don't know how to explain it well, i don't know if it's the setting powder but it just really gave me a really nice glow as well oh my god i love it it's good it's nothing too crazy and nothing too crazy or anything like that it's just perfect all right so for highlight i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the elf glow and glow gleam beam highlighting palette this one is so pretty the packaging oh my god i love it love it i don't even know which one so it has a glittery shade which i'm not gonna touch a shimmer shimmer metallic 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 so the bottom ones are metallic so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the middle one down here and this one right here oh there's a lot of fallout jesus christ that was a lot of fallout so i'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the tip of my nose oh my goodness that is pigmented that should look white okay that is very pigmented. Can you guys see that? Wow. But it looks very pretty. It's like in your face, but it doesn't look chunky. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of scary because it's like literally glitter. Uh, I could see that like in my inner corner. So I'll probably do that from my inner corner today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into shadows. And I got this one by Elf. They were like their mini bite size shadow palettes. Um, so I'm going to jump into this one out, which is the light brown right here. Um, I wish they had like names, you know, but they don't. So I'm going to apply this right below that bronzer and then to the outer part of the eye. All right. So I'm going to jump into this shadow over here. I had another one called Dirty Martini, which I was like, oh my god, I forgot about the blush. And they literally put everything out here. And this is the cream. So I can't you know, already set my whole face. But I'll try this on the next video. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this one. And this kind of reminds me of like the Stila ones. They're like glitter, liquid glitter. Um, but I got another one and I forgot it at home. But it's okay, we're gonna go ahead and apply this on um, all over the lid. But not to like pad because I don't want it to be like full on glitter. So I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of like blend it in there because I don't want it to be like super glittery. Kind of like all over the lid, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the blending brush and just kind of blend everything out. Like I said, I don't want the glitter to be too heavy. So, just like a little sheen of glitterness in there. And that's pretty much it for like the face. I'm gonna go ahead and apply lipstick. And for lipstick, I'm using Arriba by ColourPop. I love that I eat. 
I didn't see like much new lipsticks at the drugstore, so. And lastly, I'm just gonna brush my lash extensions because obviously with the whole shadow, I like kind of move them around. This is pretty much the final look um, with all the new drugstore makeup product that I got. I really like the little glittery ones. Um, like I said, I tried the Dirty Martini one and I really liked it. This one is the 24K Gold. I also got a silver one. Um, but everything in this little haul that I got, I really like. I forgot to use this one. But, so sorry about that. But yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video.